nakapag-take na sila ng MK. Uh, these shoes and slippers represent to the poor people, especially those people cannot afford to buy shoes and slippers because of the present situation in the in the, in our country here in the Philippines. As you know, the uh, killings spread all over the country, and this must be stopped. People are suffering for every everyday killing like this, so it, this must be stopped. This is shoes. This is this is terrible. So I am calling the president, Mr. Duterte, to stop all this. We want to support the poor people that are the victim of all this uh, uh, extrajudicial killing. Uh, we did not do because. La relación entre el presidente de Filipinas y la iglesia cristiana local es crítica debido a las continuas violaciones de los derechos humanos que se dan en el país en el marco de la campaña contra las drogas. This has been a paradox now that is happening now in our country. We claim ourselves to be Christians, but then with this state-sponsored uh, state killing, there's no justice in their campaign for, for uh, in their campaign to eradicate drugs. There's no justice, they're just killing, and the victims are the people. Según los datos oficiales, durante las operaciones policiales y las intervenciones de los llamados vigilantes, han habido 3.200 muertos, 7.000 según las organizaciones humanitarias. Las iglesias filipinas constituyen una verdadera oposición política. Es una organización que reúne desde la católica hasta la metodista y que nació para dar voz a las denuncias. Rise Up is a network of, of church groups and organizations and sectors from women and urban poor communities uh, in response in addressing the roots of drug addiction. Uh, since President Rodrigo Duterte assumed his office, even before months, I think a month before he assumed the office, we noticed on that there's series of killings. And then as a church group, the promotion of church people's response where I am part of, we were reflecting, reflecting on what's going on. The newspapers are bleeding with blood every day. And we thought of uh, responding to this urgency. You might be considered as an uh, enemy of the state, if you are a person in addiction, with addiction, you could be considered as an enemy of the state because the president keep on saying that your enemies, I would kill you, I would kill you. Duterte, que asegura hablar directamente con Dios, goza de un gran número de seguidores en todo el país y ha calificado abiertamente a los sacerdotes y obispos que se oponen a sus medidas represivas de hipócritas. El presidente sostiene que su política sirve para defender a los jóvenes de la adicción a las drogas y asegura estar listo para defender el futuro de las nuevas generaciones a cualquier precio. Our work in the Rise Up is, uh, is to say something to the government that killings is not the solution of this uh, of this of this drug drug abuse or drug for proliferation in, in 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 our country in our community particularly but basic social services uh, poverty alleviation and of course implementation of the law that is needed to, to really prevent the drug trade into the Philippines in our country but this is our question also to the government. Why is that despite of the intense campaign, there are still many drugs coming in? The supply is not yet, is not, uh, has not ended, has not stopped. We are not for extrajudicial killing. Uh, of course, when it comes to human rights violation, the church is very strong about that. 
and uh, we always uh, tell people about uh, this this kind of thing that uh, you know as human beings being created by God there's always a chance chance for for change and transformation and that's the reason why uh, uh, the United Methodist Church uh, strongly uh, oppose uh, such kind of uh, effort but we of course, in accordance with the purpose of eradicating the source of criminality and disorder in the Philippines. But again, there is a way on how to do this.